Welcome to one of the cornerstone cities for the NFL, Grim Bay, Wisconsin, home of the attackers. Also home of the first semi-successful head transplant, Grim. Yeah, whatever happened to that poor guy? Well, he did all right for himself. He's the state mascot for head cheese. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my mental. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Oh, with a brutal hit! Third down and six. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And this guy is a stud, Bricks. They're telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And he just wrestles away. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Hot two. Second down in a very lot. The fans are looking a bit bored. After a quarter with no score, they're cheering on the refs. <laughs> At least someone's moving the ball. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot. And he punched his way out of it, and he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married... Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, nice hit. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarterback. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, kiss -ka say what the fuck the fuck the fuck? And it's first and ten. Nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? The defense 
uses the Time Warp Dirty Trick to erase that last play. Hiring all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. If they don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a sonic... And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> when defensive players go berserk, they've been... Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. And so you does have some turkey skin grafted on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. No, you didn't see that. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Briggs. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot... Oh, my gosh! The defense play looks like he's lost his mind! Now, that's just the berserker rate. No doubt about he says, I'm taking you with me. Oh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. And these guys are neck and neck to begin the third quarter. You talking about them two Siamese twins playing opposing tackles? Yeah, they're putting on a hell of a show. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Look out! That's an all-out attack on the QB. He's up. He was still talking. He'd be saying, "Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, 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 fuck." And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a 
new set of downs. And it's first and ten. but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. Hey, your opening line needs work. Why? Really? What's a pretty girl like you doing here all by herself? Are you a hooker? Well, it's a fair question. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and ten. Nail him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Oh, this is just horrible to watch. He looks like he's malfunctioning. Someone help him. He's just dancing, Bricks. Still probably better than I could. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. We know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls. Ruin your world. Ruin it. Second down and long. Six yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll bring up third down and seven. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that pass finds its target. A pickup of six yards on the play. They stump the clock with their first timeout, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. And that is one big first down. The QB needs to stop kissing his linemen and get back to the line of scrimmage. And it's first. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Brazil. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth.
defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the oven. It would be earlier. I let one rip. I made a really good one, Grim. And then the doors open and the team's cheerleaders down. Oh, oh, that's what small talk is really put to the test. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. Oh, come on, it's not that hard to kick, is it? Because this guy's making it look really hard. Yeah, maybe he's just having a bad leg day. I get those, you know, the Jimmy Lane. Every day with you is a fucking bad everything day. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the... And the quarterback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if a little bastard's crying. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Hey, like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. He's at the 10. Touchdown. And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. On a kind of not clenching and kicks though. What you talking about? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. The Green Bay attacker has come away with a win. Not to mention a truckload of seven body pods. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking sand body is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, 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 you suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest. Greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Eagle SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League.